Good day, good afternoon. We are Beyond the Brush, a Seed Studios podcast. And I'm L. And this is Matt K. Hello, how are you doing? You okay? And this. Hi. Hey! And this is Belisarius Cool. <laughs> I mean, Matt. Hello. How are you doing? Servitor. Guys? The servitor. I don't think I can Tech be a servitor yet. Yeah, I have to be like a Sarah first, don't I? Okay, servitor. Sarah. Archmage, yeah, or, like, we can decide that ranks up. Let's, let's let the audience d- decide in yeah, Skeletal three. or Skeletal. What's, what, <laughs> what's, what's the top level? And then if he does something wrong, he just slowly goes down the path. Watch, I start a crawl Archmage. and then take a nosedive when Belsa- I will mess up. Belisarius cool. Belisarius cool. Yeah. Let's see what the audience think. Hashtag Beyond the Brush. If you guys want to give any feedback, which we're going to get to, hashtag Beyond the Brush. What should Matt be? From Servitor, Cybo Skull, up to Belisarius Cool. I say Servo Skull at the minute until you've done something right. That's, you know, guilty. Only one way (laughs) is going up. Guys, welcome. Um, We are a brand new podcast. Um, Who are we? Well, I've introduced who we are. What's it about? What's our podcast about? Well, it's going to have four sections, and we're going to go through them very soon. And they are going to be the same every week. So... What's new? What's awesome? What's up? And what's next? What's new is going to be all the new miniatures that are coming out from fantastic miniature producers. And um, we've got some juicy stuff today, haven't we, guys? Yeah. Well, everything just got released like last week. <laughs> everything got over. released. Yeah. All they just went mad with just, world. here's this, here's that, here's this, here's that. Go. I think we need to start with something really exciting that really launches a new edition of Warhammer 40k. I'm excited. We're all excited. Let's have a look. Go for it. Right, here we go. The cinematic trailer. This he didn't have it ready. Thing. He's already going down. I did the... have it ready. It was on. You just didn't see it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Should we have a little breeze for it? Let's I'd love a breeze. You look. In the darkness between the stars. Love that logo. Yeah, it's a nice Let's new logo. Great. Yeah. You always got to feel sorry for guards. <laughs> no, but they even look cool there, don't they? And I'm now glad because I always wondered, what does the Necron gun do? Melts your face. <laughs> it, it, it takes away every bit of biomass. Oh, it tunes green sparklers. Look at that. It doesn't care, just yeah. straight in. Hard as nails. The heretic, the alien. So is this is a battle. I do love how they've massively upped the the sort of the CG of everything. Oh yeah, we've got a sister of a battle massively CG'd up. Yeah. She's crushing Necrons underfoot, and, and then a new dude I mean, comes in. She just blatantly with... passed her six up in bun when she got hit in the face. <laughs> yeah, and she still looks pretty. It looks great. Is that, is that a Marla Novena? It looks. Don't know him. Possibly. I think it is because she's got yeah. the tattoo and she's got the scar on the side of her face. At this point, this, this nanotech or nano future tech is eating her arm, and there's only this is quite a moving moment, yeah. really, where she clutches the emblem of the um, sigilite or the emperor, and she is restored. I think in it face. is. What's her face? Yeah, I can't that. say it. Yeah. But then she's interrupted, like just like being interrupted at church by a loud traffic outside. I was going to say, it's like, you're waiting for a package, you're on the toilet, knock, 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 straight away. Yeah. Oh, gonna... There you go. And here he is. Could she have him in this fight in the game? Let's be this honest. Is, this is the point that I freaked out. This is the point where just... I thought, that, that image right yeah. there. So this heroic intervention of the Marine. Yeah. Because I like how he's just got a whole skeleton attached to his shield. <laughs> so he's gone up to his. his um, is this one of the new models? One of the Blade veterans? Yeah. We'll have to wait and see. Wait and see. That's what I like. The, the, I always wonder what a scarab swarm looked like. That's what like a swarm of them. Yeah. There is no mercy. I like as well. They've um, they've shown that the Necrons aren't weak by showing that. Some of these marines are being mm. taken down by the It's not weapons. just a, I win. It's not just a, 
yeah, it's not yeah, it's not an onslaught by the Marines like that there. It's that is a serious size. I do like the like the cinema photography carries. that they've gone for in this. They've really made it quite stylized. Is it style? It's quite it's it's quite computer game. Yeah, I mean that's what I've, that's what I've been saying. Like I do think this is. It would take so much effort to make this to not use it for anything else. So I think it's a game. I just thought what a game. Life's like, a game. Look at her, she's smiling. Did you notice this is a smiling as she was shooting Holy Bolt? Only My overall take of that is they've been very faithful to each part. So the Necrons mm -hmm. don't look how they yeah. look like an end swarm to that sort of crescendo moment at the end when that giant robot walks its way through. Yeah. And then you have bits where the Marines are going in very sort of last stand over the trenches kind of mm. thing. The Marines about to get shot in the head and then poof, yeah. Necrons down. You just see the sister of battle there. I do like how you've like got this, what you yeah, said just before nice where moment. they're depicting Marines as not they're not invincible. Like they're tough yeah. as nails, they're but, as yeah, nails. Like, but they are going to go down if you get a Scarab Swarm just completely consuming you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Which is cool. And this, but, this, this is a new, I think this is a new dynasty of Necrons we're seeing here, mm. which we yeah. can get to shortly. Um, it's an amazing, and then you've got the bro and sister moment at the end, like, yeah. we, are, we are Imperium, and we stand and together. Nice also, because, you know, Sisters of Battle, before this re latest release, the last one was, what, 2004? So it's, it's <laughs> with yeah, Inquisitor, like, like with witch hunters and that, and it's just like it's nice to see them sort of take the front a bit. Yeah, it is. And there's there's a, there's a I like the definitive change from a guardswoman person up to the sister. Yeah. You know, you can see that they're they are way they're, it's another level of um, yeah. power, as it were. And then we've got the new symbol at the end. So Warhammer Forty K has a new emblem, you know, and. Um, yeah, I think I think I'm a bit sad the old one's gone. It was it saw me coming into the hobby as a gamer, and it was it was powerful and strong. And this is this is new. I mean, I like yeah. it. It's fresh, it's clean. Um, nice. I think it will pop more on products. It's bright. You guys think? Uh, the, 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 the old logo it is quite dark, but then it's grim dark. Like, <laughs> but, uh, it was grim dark, think, and now this is grim dark shiny. I think they needed that gear change because obviously their ship. I think the last two years, especially with Psychic Awakening and, mm. you know, um, what's his name? Gulliman waking up for his nap. Um, <laughs> I think they needed that yeah. gear change to actually go with what they're doing with the narrative. Um, I mean, my I love this, but my first love was the second edition. So it was the yellow mm. with the sort of 40k yeah. in red. That was my, right. my entry point. Yeah, McDonald's entry point. <laughs> the golden arches. Yeah, that kind of bright. Da, 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 da. It's 40k. Again, that was with the time you knew what you were getting like even the heavy metal style back then was mm. so bright and vibrant and now they're again still vi like bright and vibrant but grim dark so much yeah. texture yeah. i mean it's, it's kind it's of good. it's still bright and vibrant mm -hmm. and it's very it's a lot more flatter i'd say but like it works it's basically how you guys are in life now you know you used to be really energetic and vibrant now you're still vibrant but you're a bit flatter and yeah, less exactly. of a punch yeah, yeah, exactly. So what else is new? So, so there's a lot of new stuff cool, though, though, isn't there? Shall we start with the with the oh. first one? Let's have a look. Right. We are on the Primaris Lieutenant. <gasps> another we needed another lieutenant, I think. What? Yeah. Um the Primaris Lieutenant is the is yeah. the joke, but um what a cool the model. Probably the guy on Twitter will be mm. very happy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All these amounts of Primaris Lieutenant rings. Very cool. This um, is this and instantly is I thought I thought these are the um, these are like the old, old Space Marine veterans, mm -hmm. you know, all the way from the metal mm -hmm. ones. They had a tabard. Yeah. So it's a lot of the tropes. A lot of the silhouette is still the same. Um, is it an Iron Halo? I don't know, um, but it, it's got that. Yeah, it's got a Crux Terminatus size, size, size shield. I love that they brought Volkite back into play, which is a heresy um, weapon, effectively. So I don't know if Matt, have you have you rediscovered that Belisarius Matt Cool, cool or if they, they didn't tell me. Is the tech been re envisioned? They didn't tell me. Yeah. They didn't tell me. Kept it, kept it from me. Uh, they, they don't tell you nice. nothing. But <clears throat> um, I love this figure. And this is definitely the guy from the trailer that we yeah. just saw. We obviously, can't see, mm. we obviously can't see what's on the other side of his shield. Well, it, it's um, supposed to be a giant skeleton, isn't it? Like based on the trailer. 
You can yeah, kind of see it. Could be. I think, maybe. Yeah, I think if the, the skeleton's not there, I think you find very quickly <laughs> that it will be on a lot of people. And when I saw these, I thought, it looks amazing in Ultramarine. Imagine that's a Black Templar. Mm. Oh. Yeah. No, I can't. I can't do it. Sorry. Imagine yeah. another chapter. Let's see it as a salamander. Ooh. Salamander would be great, yeah. Salamander. I like how they're bringing a bit more yeah. sort of intricacies into the, the designs as well, like with all the yeah. like icons and stuff, because the, like the Primaris yeah. have been quite bland Deeply. or not, not, not as like ornate as other stuff has been. Um, well, they've 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 given us yeah. the troops, the plain troops, just like old marines, and now we're and now we're getting the specialized yeah. units. Which is cool. Um, and I think if we see his boys, are we going to see his we boys will. next? Should we go to them? Let's have a let's have okay. a yeah, Next one is the assault intercessors. Okay, um, so again, um, not the primaris um, interse intercessors, the primaris assault intercessors. So still intercessors. That's interesting. Whereas we used to have a very distinctive um, um, tactical marine. A soul mm. marine. These are still all intercessors. Um, I don't know if that's relevant to the game, but I, I you know, that's where I'm my just brain goes. Use chainsaws for primaris now. Oh like, yes. The conversions like you, you, you could just about fit the old tactical marine chainsaw onto a primaris thing. The hands are a little bit smaller, but it's like so negligible. You can just about get away with it. But now there's like a proper yeah. one. It's really cool. It's nice. Well, think, it's nice to have plain yeah. running um, Primaris guys as well, not just ca characters. This is my big takeaway from it. It's, they've not just done Primaris Space Marines, the Intercessor Box, and given Chainswords, which would have been really easy to do. They've really mm. went to town on the yeah, posing. I mean, everything's running now. Yeah, There's it's a lot like, of movement in them. They, like, but like, there's a the second guy, edition one standing as well. Mm -hmm. But that's the, um, I assume you're talking about the one on the top, right? Correct. <clears throat> That's he was in the trailer, so no. there's a bit where yeah, it, it kind of from the trailer there was a bit where he just taken down a Necron, and then it swings round with yeah. the, the gun and yeah. he shoots a Necron in the head, and he's about to get hit, and that's when you see the sister of battle shoot. So it's all it's, it's all in there. It's yeah, in they there. they use the art in in different directions from yeah. from sketches to minis and, and back again. <clears throat> Just something as simple. Are these people have been freaking out about these uh, because obviously in the game they wanted intercessors that could assault, yeah. and now they've got yeah. it. And this is just putting a chainsaw on them, and it's just such a huge deal. I can see why. Yeah. Is it the death of mini marines? Right. Is it the death of mini marine assault tr troops? Because they always had that, especially in games like Kill Team, you had to bring space marines mm. if you wanted um, close combat melee weapons of this nature. Now you don't have to. <clears throat> Question. Mini Marines, as in sort of before Primaris. Firstborn, I believe they call them. Sorry, that's disparaging. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's sizest. Um, I think it's a good evolution. It, I think it needed to happen, but they've done it within the story and it works. And now what you've got is just an endless stream of beautiful miniatures coming with it. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm not going to complain whatsoever. Something I've just noticed. Um, I hope you don't. The, I don't the shoulder pads. Complain. Uh, different. They have that um, raised, raised bit. Yeah, like a like the oh, pendant right. on the on the top of the pad. That's cool. I'm assuming that's um, an extra bit of protection. Possibly, yeah. Because they are it's combat. Yeah. It's where he keeps his his cigars. <laughs> yeah, just like a '50s kid, like on his on his sleeve. <laughs> They're cool. They're really cool. I'm really really interested to see if you are going to be able to equip these with jump packs. Mm. Oh. That'd be cool. It's, it's going to happen, isn't it? Let's see. Maybe um, we can have people write in and tell us in our, in our third I'm, section, I'm which we're coming up I'm looking forward to later. someone taking a few of these or one of these for a duel for GD. Yeah, yeah. it's going to happen. Um, I've heard rumblings of people that might do it. There's loads of people over the internet that they're just they're yeah. loving this. And obviously we've seen some of what's in the box. We've seen the box... Yeah, and there's going to be more than we than we see in this picture for sure. Yeah. And we're so, we're so spoiled because, <laughs> like I said, I bought a second edition when I was I think, eight or nine. You're and... spoiled. Look at all your lovely hair products behind you. Oh, that's that's my mother's. <laughs> that's not mine. Okay. But there you go. Um, yeah, there's so much going on here, 
Um, what is next? next. What's next? Is... Let's crack on with um, the blade. Guard, what's new? Yes. yes. So I think that's yes. what's on the front of the shields is the uh, the more yeah, Crux because, Terminatus. Yeah, they are cool. But the for those um, for those who weren't around and or loved the fluff as much as me, that's a tiny. In, in the original Terminators, they had a Crux Terminatus on their shoulder pad. And it was meant to contain a tiny fragment of the Emperor's armor. So I don't know if that fluff is continuing, but whatever the case, it's just so nice to see um, the designers being loyal to the to the canon, to the old fluff. Mm, that's cool. What's interesting, this is obviously a squad, but the figure we saw first isn't that uh, he's not there. So I'm assuming he might be a character within that so, box. Yeah. Maybe he's, he's a lieutenant, a but yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. yeah, he's a lieutenant, so he will be a character of some description. Um, yeah, these are these are awesome. Yeah. So They're chunky as well. They look as well as the lieutenant. So do you reckon he'll have the same weapons? Massive yeah. bulk height could be. It just imagine these. Matt uh, uh, Verlisari is called in Black Templars. Yes. There you go. I said that. I said, I said that with the, the lieutenant, and you went, "Nah." Just... Well, imagine oh. them in salamanders. Yeah. But I think are these slightly bigger than Primaris, or is it just because they've got a lot of body I think it's armor? Just bit, uh, sorry, they are a bit chunkier. Like they do look a bit. The haircut, a bit bigger. Yeah, but it's definitely not like a different no. pattern. They might, they might be just no, slightly like, think... scaled up, just a small amount, just to give them a bit more imposingness. Mm. Very well, cool. They've all got iron halos passage. as well. I don't know if they're going to confer invans for plus invans at all. Maybe. Like other characters of old, they are cool. Nice. What's new? What's new? Watch these in, in, near uh, Rabute Gilliman near you very all soon. The re -rolls. <laughs> all the rerolls, melee rerolls. Right, what is next? The bikes. Ah, I love them. Raven Wing. I love them. That's all. I'm so chunky. Say. I mean, I was so I was so happy. I just dropped one um, insight for me. I was so happy they didn't go grab. Yes, because. I just love, you know, I love, I love the reboot. I love the Primaris reboot, but I, I was a bit, oh, but you know, bikes are ridiculous and noisy and messy and so 40 K for me. So they are beefier. They are heavy. They look like they couldn't uh, go over a pin without losing <laughs> traction and suspension. But man, watch me paint them black and put dark angel iconography and, and bits from the old Ravenwing kits all over them. Um, actually, probably be a command squad for me. Nice banner bearer, apothecary, and champion. I just, I just like Boom. how chunky they Who are. Who else is feeling? You love that yeah. thickness. They're don't just you? massive. It's great. I think um, white scar players are going to be quite excited about this one as well. Yeah, yeah. and black yeah. templars. Well, with, black with templars. Like, any green with all player. The, uh, like characters getting primarisified, as they said at one of the open days. Um, you get what was his name, uh, Khan, Primaris fired on a massive bike, maybe. Oof. That'd be really cool with his cape yeah. flowing behind him. When it's eagle flying. Oh, Cyber Raven, not an eagle. Cyber, sorry, Cyber Raven. Or Cyber Eagle. Can you imagine, though, is, is this something that's hinting that we're even going to get Primaris Terminators? <sighs> They've got that with the aggressors, mm. though, isn't it? That's, that's, that's what I thought really was... Big, um, like if you like scaled them up from Primaris size to like Primaris Terminators, they're going to be huge models. Like obliterated. Yeah. <laughs> Saying that, stranger things have happened. I mean, there's some things I wouldn't have expected, but aggressors, I would not have seen them a couple of years back, and the uh, the jump pack troops, I would not have seen that. So, hopefully, I hope so. Crack it open, just see what they can do with it. Just go wild. There you go, crack, Matt's advice, crack it open, hopefully go wild. I think that's good advice for anyone riding Primaris bikes. Yeah. Not what necessarily. I want Twist to the accelerator and hold on for dear life. <laughs> exactly. Exactly that, yeah. What else we got? What else we got? Judy. Oh, hello, Judy. I'm going to call him Judy go. from now on. Um, can I just say, when I first saw this, um, I was like... Um, and I'm not even joking. Black Templars. <laughs> it's very um, the style of it's very Sigma. Yeah, mm. the shoe, the shoe, the boot is very Sigma. Um, the lantern thing, or it's it's a oh, timer, I think. 
but again, he's got his little crooks. I mean, I, I saw the. I think I saw the rules on this guy, and he's um, he's delivering strength six blows with that chopper. <laughs> it is that's the one thing that jumped out at me. I looked at it and I was like, that sword looks mm. brutal. It's got a flat end, and those kind of swords are used literally to hack. Just, you don't stab just, with those swords. You, you just hack. Giant yeah, clubs. That are sharp. Decapitation yeah. or or beating. Yeah, beating large demons. So. Is this kind of the same thing as an apothecary, a judicar? I think Not it's more of a chaplain. Sorry, yeah. Yeah, mm. I, was gonna say, well, I think it's yeah, it's more of a chaplain than an apothecary. What does it say on his sword? Grim, grimness, dark I grimness. Can't read it. It says. Wait, there, I'm just zooming it says, in. Um, yeah, that's very cool. I love all. I love all the studs. Mm. And um, it's going to be my dark angel chaplain. Charisma. The sword's very. Um, it's very anime, like that sort of anime mm. style. It's cool. It's as long as his body. I mean, it's, it's cool, right? I I hope we don't lose chaplains because of nostalgia and attachment. I don't think we will because obviously they already exist as a plastic kit. Um, I would like to know what's going. Like, there must be some fluff about this because he seems new, a judicar. And um, his head looks—he looks almost dead. And um, he looks very hollowed mm. in, almost very he chaos. Strong. Yeah, yeah, and he kind of—he looks slimmer than a marine, as well. I don't know if that's no carbs. Thing. No carbs. He's on the keto diet. This one. <laughs> He's got a crux terminatus. Just saying. <laughs> Heavy ketosis. For this boy. I wish there was like a, a 360. I'd like to see what like the the cape stuff is behind it. Yeah, definitely. But um, really cool. Again, religious maybe religious executioner. I'm going for, but no iron halo. It might be a type of inquisitor, mm. right? If it's slightly smaller than a marine, because inquisitors aren't marines. They are, they have power armor, mm. but they don't have the the undersuit and all the implants. It could be like, like especially this. like with the cinematic trailer, focusing more on the sort of the religious aspect of the sisters yeah. and having these as well. Could be something along those lines. <clears throat> Let's find out what else we got. We have you, this dude. <gasps> right now for the baddies. Uh, Not baddies. I just misunderstood. This guy's got a massive gun and a the massive the Neucrons. Neucron. It's just something you don't want to meet in a um, dark alley. Like, you just screwed at that point. Well, Ellis. Well, yeah, both, to be honest. <laughs> but, um, you do want to meet me in a dark alley. You just want to leave that dark quickly. alley. <laughs> um, he's like a scorpion standing up with, with tech. Mm. Yeah. He's a score peck, of course. I just saw that. Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah. Ba -dum -bum. <laughs> nice bit of paint job on this. <clears throat> yeah, really cool. I love um, how they've done the weathering on the on the chromy mm. bits. Yeah, they look old, don't they? As in, they look like they're ten thousand years old. Up. Well, this is a this is a very old race, Matt, and the Necrons are very old. I am well aware. I've listened to a lore it didn't video. Sound like two, you were a two hour long video about Necron lore. I know all about it. it so it's older than ten thousand years. Can I just not much older? You it's weren't listening. Hundreds of thousands of years old. This one. Millions. So technically, the Necrons exist now, but on a different planet. I like it. I like that extrapolation. It's good math. It is cool. <laughs> really? It's got a bit of like, um, a, I like, it, the, like this, the claws. It's a bit flayed one sort of style. Yeah. Yeah, there's that little... I like that one. There's a, there, I think they've gone with the whole... Because the most interesting Necrons for me in, in past were ones with a little bit of a twisted character. You know, I love reanimating robots. That's cool. Yeah. Who doesn't love it? But if they have a little like human fetish or character, it's like oh, something's it was... something something over the eons as as um, formulated in the code of this automaton into something more um, idiosyncratic, if I could say. I think with the flayed ones, it was that <clears throat> the Necrons basically had a mind wipe, so they were aware of everything, but they couldn't yeah. outwardly express it. So they were just contained in these bodies. But the flayed ones had a little bit of a, a crack where some of their personality got out and they just craved yeah. to be human again. So they literally put these claws on themselves mm -hmm. to try and have, wear the skins mm -hmm. of people to try and be somewhat human again. Yeah. It's, it's a sad story. 
Very yeah, I'm I'm a real boy. Yeah, the exactly. Pinocchio is of oh, the, uh, the forty first millennium. Exactly. What else August. we got? What we got is we got we, we can't say the Necrons and the Xenos didn't get some love because look, even the Necron Warrior, the basic kit got a, got a little got a, revamp. Um, got a little bit of arthritis. You know, things are not... again. Mm-hmm. I think they've really concentrated on the age. Mm. These these guys. I mean, if you zoom into some of the details, they're missing eyes. Um, maybe they've been battling so long they haven't been able to repair, and um, they look hunched over. It's almost sort of re it's reanimated yeah. dead. It's reused over and over again. It's literally. Yeah. Are we just saying that these might be a new it. dynasty? I think so. I think the color scheme maybe indicates that, or yeah. or they've just you know a bit of retconning. Like if, if even if you were an ancient race under any planet for millions of years. There would be seismic movements. Not every planet is sterile. Yeah. And so it kind of sh- hints at that. Oh, look, and it's just shifted this much and it's bent his adamantium or whatever they're made of. Nice. Yeah, I, I, I like even just the simple small details they've really made. They put a lot of flavor into the basic yeah. warrior. Yeah. Um, I, I really do like the Necron kit they've got now, but it's nice to just see a little bit more of an evolution. Um Personally, it tells, um, tells a story. Exactly. Um, I'm personally glad they've got rid of the the glow, not the glow sticks, what they called the um, the tubes, party, the fluorescent party sticks. Uh, yeah, the fluorescent tubes. I think it just it gives more option mm. for a painter. Um, in turn, I mean, you could put that in spray and paint it how you wanted it, but I like the the pattern work they've put on this, and it really ties in with the the newer Necron stuff that they already did, like the yeah. battle barge and Gauss stuff and all the yeah, the girl stuff. Yeah, exactly. But, what else yeah. could they? What else could they think of next? Surely that's all the Necrons that they've released. I think that's oh, all the Necrons no. for today. Oh no, it's not. Oh, oh my god, this is like right. it's like they're going, we're going to show you this um, little model. We're going to show you this little model, and we're going to show you There's all so the things to, to see in this one. Oh. Right, can I just can I point out one? So if you look you in the bottom, point out all of them, Matt. I'll go right. I'll tell you what. I'll go through it. So if you look yeah. in the bottom left corner. Um, I don't know if you remember, they brought out a sketchbook, and I think they had some of Jez Goodwin's sketches in there. Um, and there was a concept art, which basically it was a piece of artwork of a Necron Destroyer Lord, and it had that curved, even the the exhaust ports right. at the front were circular, because the, the older ones, they, they're square. This is that artwork. He's got which, a sort of two-handed... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> if you... Oh, then you no, know, it's a it's a pencil I'll, drawing I'll as well. Find it. So it's it's literally they've got this artwork and just went pff, miniature. Even the way he's holding the gun, I'm assuming in front of him is a Necron Lord, which is really cool. Yeah, um, he looks very hunched. That could be actually the character that's oh, what's the Oberon? I think Oberon, I think is his name. Um, and then behind him, he seemed to have sort of got bulbous backs. Slightly larger than warriors, you know, bodyguards, and then if you, yeah, exactly, that could be like a, a lord and his two servitors or whatever. For a better word, I don't know the names. Uh, yeah, um, uh, yeah um, middle left, when it where it says, "What is that?" Love it. <laughs> it yeah, twisted it, future matrix beast. It's very, yeah, it's, it's very scary. War of the worlds. Mm. That's exactly. I was going to say War of the Worlds when it's sort of yeah. crawling along the build, just enveloping it. Um, when I looked at this, I was like, "Wow, they've because the monolith kit. I really like it. It's very basic. It's very of its time." But I was like, "Wow, they've they've really went to town on that paint job. Zoomed in just a little bit. It's mm-hmm. a brand new monolith kit. <clears throat> even yeah, it's it's brand new. I think even they've got Necrons coming out of it. I think if you look in the doorway, there's yeah. actually a Necron." The stuff inside, the, like, like... the lightning stuff, that looks very much like the Satan kit at the moment. Funny you should yep. say that, because if you go to the middle... <laughs> We've got a Satan, maybe. And it says, look at the size of that thing. Is that a Catan? I think it's a Catan. That's one of the two models I really want to paint out of this lot. But which one is it? Is it a new Catan? Is it the Nightbringer? Or is it the Shard? Silver? Shard of Catan? Yeah. Um, and then obviously, if you look, there's some terrain in the back as well. Yeah. Um, I know they've started bringing up terrain. It looks like a, a Necron pylon. Necron base, base subwoofer. Yeah, 
Yeah, exactly. And I'm not going to go to the, the main attraction of this one yet. And then I think with uh, what we had on the the middle left mm. and the middle right, I think you can see, I think that may be the same kit, but maybe a mm. different build. Very so that War of the Worlds aspect again. Yeah, exactly. Um, and the big one for me that I think looks like a real painter's figure. So I'm really excited about that. It's without a shadow of a doubt, that is the Silent King. What, the top right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The top right. That With is the days, Silent Steps and his base and his throne room. Yep. And they showed a couple of clips of it. And it's the contorted face of the Catan Shard that cannot mm. escape. It's just very imprisoned. That's going to be a cool mini. That it cannot. Oh, that's... It's so exciting. Those, those, two, those two, all of them are amazing. As a and painter, it sucks to be those guys. Yeah, I mean, I mean, they've only put three of them out. I mean, come on, where's the whole chapter? <laughs> yeah, but they've got a three plus inbound watch. <laughs> Again, it's back to that video. It's a complete swarm, but they can probably hold their own until that big thing comes to the door. Oh yeah, this is yeah. an amazing box set. I hope that some of this is in a box set for ninth edition. I think it will be. Some of it, maybe. Yeah. But I... They're just... They've kind of... If if they'd have just brought out New Necron Warriors and Silent King, I think people would have went, perfect. But they've done... Nothing. They've done full reanimation re- protocol. Exactly. They, it's, they've kind of revamped the whole thing. They've done a new monolith, Catan, um, a new Necron Destroyer Lord. They've done the sort of War of the Worlds kind of thing. I don't know the name of it yet. Um, um, the Silent King... Um, two or three new Necron Lords, there's a character in there, um, it seems. Mm. Yeah, and... It's going to be a very cool Yeah, if you're a Necron player... And not just that, with the the Psychic Awakening they did, what's his name? The guy that's stealing the the guard's soul. I can't remember what his name was. I think he's he's the one that's kind of like a spider and he likes human heads. Yeah. That was amazing. I think, I'm a Necron player, I'm a happy boy. This is what's new, but what's old. Yeah. So what is old about what's new in this clip? Well, this is something they put up on the community page. Basically, it's here's stuff we're making at some point. Here's the concepts. We don't know when it's coming out. And I just think it's cool. It's like really Golden Compass style bears. Mm. Cuddly bears with watches. Exactly. So what we're looking at here, it says um, Warhammer Old World with a really cool logo quite retro as well um, and it says bear cavalry concept sketches so i'm thinking kislev maybe. nice mm-hmm. i think do you remember the old figure with the the czar and he was on a bear that, that was one of the images maybe. they had on the uh their page which is cool yeah so maybe something along the lines this is, this of that a huge kit i mean if you sort of look at the size of the the shadow of a person they've put on top of it Yes. It's just going to be massive. It's the shadow of a man. It's going to be amazing. And if anyone has missed it, the um, the old Warhammer world was replaced by the Age of Sigma, um, and there was a lot of outcry because people were very fond of the old world, um, Warhammer, the original Warhammer old world. But um, this this last couple of months, it's been rumored and leaked that we're getting at, at least one of the realms of Sigma is going to be the old world. So it's back. Yeah, it's sort of starting afresh, but being true to canon again. And um, this is one of the first things we've seen out of the mm, studio. That's very cool. I think it would be nice to see characters that died in the end times revamped. Yes. Maybe plasticized yeah. and brought back. Or it'd be quite cool to maybe play a game. If you like the old techless, you can use them in the old world, that kind of thing. Or narrative stuff where you can rescue imprisoned old souls. Yeah. How about it? Yeah. Love it. Great. Yeah, this is going to be of the old world is anew. And um, yeah, so that is the end of what's new for this week. Next up, we have what's awesome. Now, in this section of the show, we're going to be seeing what's going on out there on the interwebs, on the Internet of Things. What you guys are up to in the community, you know, and we're really interested to um, showcase some of that. Definitely. So let's go. What so we got? First, we have your selection, Ellis. Yeah, so um, Rob, Rob the Painter. Is it Rob the Painter? Robo Painter. Robo, I thought this was amazing. Um, Popped up in a few places. And um, 
in case it's not immediately obvious, which I think it is, which is I think the strength of this work is the conversion skills um, of the guy who's, who's shown um, the real nature of the Alpha Legion's covert hide, hide and seek. And um, here we've got a Hellbrew, Alpha Legion Hellbrew, disguising as a Ultramarine Tread, <laughs> which I just think is awesome. And um, yeah, effectively an old school heresy Alpha Legion Marine turning into a reaver it's incredible i mean the conversion work is really well done because you can't quite see where the seams are right it's yeah, seamless it's seamless as it were but it's like this it's putting work. those two kits together which probably don't fit very well together like <laughs> normally and it's yeah. just well done so the color works you could, it's just enough um it's it, it's quite a limited palette in a sense but it's enough you can see the two legions stroke chapters yeah. difference. It's, yeah, it's that sort of different. It's, you've got ultramarines, but then you've got that sort of almost sort of teal kind of greeny blue mm. stands out. Um, and then I've, you've obviously got the white of the insignia, and then you've got the acid green of the insignia of the Alpha Legion. Are these, is it like a cloaking device he's done? I, I understand. Yeah. I read it I like I think that's that. probably what he's I going for. Yeah. Like or and is it? They're being corrupt so much that they're becoming. Well, that's yeah. interesting. I mean, we, we don't know. And Robo Painter, maybe you want to let us know, because um, um, you know we love we'll show you, shout you out. And if you want to explore, explain your process, that'd be cool. Um, I think it's it's obvious, even if you're not into Warhammer, um, who the bad guy is. You know, which side is the bad guy, right? Exactly. Yeah. So it really tells that that thematically very well. So this is why this is my standout piece for the week. Awesome. So, the next piece is, Matt, your choice. Yeah, <clears throat> so this one, I think this um, this section is going to be used for people to, um, if I'm correct, they send in stuff to us and we yeah. have a look at it and we pick bits and pieces out that we really enjoy. Cool. So this is more of the, the sort of story behind it. So myself and Neil Hollis, we did a, a small painting class in London and it was just about painting orcs. And this guy, Painting Lemon, turned out a guy called Tom Ambrose, really nice guy. Um, um, and he just wanted to boost his skill, really. So he had all the sort of the fundamentals. And then it was literally, me and Neil did nothing. We literally just sort of walked down the path with him and pointed him in that direction. And he's just a really nice guy that I think deserves that kind mm. of shout out because he went, he's went from <laughs> there to like there within yeah. months he's he's just his well, painting has come on he won, leaps, iron, he won a iron skull in february there you go <laughs> i remember speaking to neil as well because i was sitting painting this orc and he was so in, he was quite quiet he was just literally watching what i was doing and then i'd be like do you need me to show you how to do it and he's like no no i've watched and he did it and then i, I looked at it and i was like yeah it's pretty good that <laughs> it's, it's pretty good and i remember me and neil i think a couple of months later i think it was after iron skull and i think he won two or three definitely one more than one um we said uh um he's going to be a contender for oh, golden yeah. demon he, he will he, win a demon if not this year next year no well next year the yeah. year after <laughs> I remember or another it. iron skull which yeah. is a c studios painting yeah. competition for those who are just yeah. tuning in for the first time once a year i remember neil yeah there you go you got the date i remember neil messaged me when we saw he'd won an iron skull and he's like yeah, we did that, mate. We did that. I think we've opened a can of. I think we've opened a can of worms, though. Well, if you... Yeah, because every tip you've given me, it hasn't made me win anything. You, get, you, you can't polish a turd, Ellis. This is why I've heard. <laughs> yeah. glitter on it. There you go. Sprink, you sprinkle me with glitter, <laughs> and then just leave me stinking. But like, there you go, yeah, Tom. If but, you look um, at his Instagram, yeah. also, like, you can see he's got that really heavy metal style almost nailed now. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, he's totally. Really good at it. Uh -huh. um, and I was most fascinated, like, he was just watching painting, but I was more fascinated in the fact that he's, he's so intelligent. He's a mathematician. Uh, I was, because I'm terrible with numbers, but he was just so on the ball. And he's only 10. <laughs> he's, like, he's, he's a, yeah, he's, he's really young as well, and he's got years ahead of him, and he's not broken and beaten down. And I love these orcs. I love what he's done. You know, it's, it's a nice yeah. little palette. Um, it's very cool. It's got a bit of a Kennedy about it. It does. Um, the one on the left, that was the face he did at the class. That's why. Um, yeah. Um, so he literally would just sat and he'd, he'd just, he'd ask questions, which is, he just, 
he was very he it's not that he, he took the what he learned and he went cool he ran with it applied it to other things and then he did his Nurgle um Nurgle regiment for yeah. Iron Skull won gold I believe Matt um, you probably know better I can't than remember I remember off the top of my head I remember photographing it <laughs> yeah well either way you saw yeah, it in yeah. I was great it, it was like the awesome. whole unit was just properly consistent mm -hmm. yeah. beautiful wasn't it um but yeah, it's, it's just nice to see that he took what he learned. And it's, like, I didn't necessarily teach him anything. Like I said, it was me and Neil just basically went, instead of doing that, why not try this? And he went, gone. And give it give it a couple of years' time. He, he's going to have golden demons under his belt. And you never know, he could be he could be a Slayer Sword winner in the future. Stop <laughs> it. He could easily be. No. And if he Enough. keeps Stop. If he, keeps, if he keeps going on the traje traje trajectory he is now, why not? And, and you know what? More power to him. Well done, mate. Fair, fair enough. Exactly. Cool. cool. Go follow him. He's got a lot of yeah. cool stuff. Yeah, uh, his handles on, on screen. Yes, Thank so you. At Painting Lemmy. So what's all, we've got we anything have, else that's awesome yes. this week? What else we've we got? Paul Moore's oh, nice. 110,000 Malice. Malice. Yeah. One ten thousand scale space marine strike cruiser. I saw this. Tell us about this. Why does this tweak you, Belisario? I just cool. thought it was awesome. Well, obviously, he he sculpted it three D. I think he's done a quite a, well. Yeah, he's got a, a few of them, um, which in and of itself is a pretty decent going. <laughs> you want more than one though, don't the what? you? You want more? Oh yeah, than well, one. you want a fleet. You want to be able to play yeah. BFG, but on like a twenty by twenty foot table. <laughs> that'd be cool is it heresy is it heresy era? uh i mean they're the strike cruisers so they're they've been around for a for a while um but yeah i mean it's it's battlefleet gothic just super scaled which is just awesome it's amazing work paul yeah. if you tune in yeah i can see why you chose this and the paintwork yeah, as well i've really gone to town on it yeah, it's nice um, and weathered, subtly weathered. It's pretty perfect. But like most of this, I, I, I don't think I'm right in saying that it's all his own sculpt work in 3D as well, which is impressive and then 3D printed, obviously. That must have cost a lot of money to 3D print that. You'd be surprised. Or... Like I've had stuff 3D printed, like the massive heavy bolt or in the Star Wars helmet thing, and, and it's not that much money in the end. Right. Money's no object to Matt Avis. I just pay imperial Money's credits. No object when you're imperial credits, you just, just fly up. Imperial. But I think this is like, I'd love to see this in like open competition. I hope he brings it to a GD. I'd love to see that in the cabinet. Yeah, I don't think you'll see it in the cabinet. I think they'll have it on the table yeah. behind. Well, it'll be flying overhead. And it's cool because like, as he sculpted it himself, he can enter it because it's his own sculpt. Oh, yeah. Exactly. It's just awesome. It's but, in the yeah. walls. It's just so cool. I really want one. I hope he sells nice. a few. <laughs> Message him. Uh, Message you, him. We've got his um, handle right there. At Paul's yeah, Malice. Got amazing work, man. That's nice. Cool. Paul Chi Long Davis. Very cool. Cool. So. So that is the end of that section of what's awesome. So. I hope we've given you a sense of what it's going to be. Yeah. So our next section, what's up? Did you want to tell us about that, Matt? Yeah. Or yeah. which Matt? Yeah. I'm just not. I'm just not going to get involved. I'm going to have a, a on, Matt fight you out. <laughs> um, yeah. So basically, what we wanted to do is we wanted to make <clears throat> Beyond the Brush uh, as interactive as possible. We want it to to grow, and we want it to we want it to kind of. We enjoy doing it, or I've enjoyed doing it so far. It's only episode episode one. I'm sure the the, the backstage <laughs> politics will take over eventually, but um, it'd be nice to have as much input from. The, the community as possible to make it a podcast that really everyone enjoys listening to, whether you be at the gym going for a walk or you're just sitting down doing a bit of painting, mm. listening to our beautiful voices. Sort of more so, interactive. Gamers, gamers too. Yeah, exactly. Um, so what we want from you guys is we want to celebrate what you do as well. So the idea basically is every month we're going to look at what's cool out there and we're going to basically do a mini review on it give you a shout out and um yeah so basically what we want you to do is um if you've got an image of something that you've worked uh, you've worked on or that you've put a lot of time and effort into and you just want people to see it so what we want you to do is tag your images on instagram facebook or your social media 
uh, with um, hashtag beyond the brush. Okay. But what we also want to do is if you have any questions at all, something you want us to talk about, um, anything at all. I mean, it's not a, <laughs> what's the word? It's not a, a problem page as such. It's more oh, about you know, the miniatures and stuff <laughs> like that. But exactly. Exactly. Um, so we've also got uh, an email address and that is yeah, beyond the brush podcast at gmail.com. Ask us questions. If you've got any suggestions, hit us up on that. Myself, uh, Matt, and Ellis are all on Instagram, and we're all very, very responsive. Um, my handle is at mkpaints4. Ellis, what's yours? At k.l. And made us. There we go. So hit us up. Hit us up with suggestions. Let us know how we can make this better. That's that's all we want yep. to do. Want what to if you're a company? Uh, we, you know, that's fine as well. You want a little shout out, a little plug? That's fine if it's something that you know we feel is positive for the community. We can review that too. Um, or if you want a little, a little bit of help. I think you said that, Mike. If you want a little bit of help. Yeah. Just uh, ask us in, questions. Like, we're more than happy to answer. In jump you've in. got what? Yeah. Matt, you've won how many GDs and Slayer Swords? <laughs> what? One Slayer Sword at a Mini Demon. Um, and <laughs> nearly 15. And Ellis? Uh, yeah, four, four classic Golden Demons and... Um, it's seven or eight uh, mini so, demons. Like you've got a wealth wins. of knowledge there, and like your painting experience. Like so, yeah. Questions are great. And six thousand finalists. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just jump in with that, um, and that's going to be um, that's going to be an awesome section for you guys to really get involved. Maybe even come on the show. Exactly, and if it gets to the point where we've got too many questions, I was going to suggest to the two guys here we could actually just do an episode where it's literally we just review miniatures, answer questions, like a mailbag. Yeah. Or we'll just block you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just too, block it's too you. much harassment. Um, but we want to make it as engaging as possible. Um, tell us how we can make it better so you get as much enjoyment out of it as we do. Definitely. Not quite that much, but very close. Yeah. There you I go. think also like, events, we'll be covering events. Um, Iron Skull, Golden yeah. Demon, Salute. Live. Live. Yeah. Um, yeah, there will be lots yeah. of live streaming. Like next Iron Skull, I will be live streaming the awards. Um, if I can pull myself away from getting all those photo photos done, which was a, it was a very busy day, let's say. <laughs> I'll pull you away. I'll pull you away and say, remember, we're doing a podcast, yeah, dude. So it's not all about you and your little camera. There will be... But come and talk to us. Um, we could probably interview you about your day and how things are going and just really hype it up. And because over the past 10 years, I think we're speaking to Ellis about this, um, the whole idea of the community. I think Games Workshop is quite responsible for this with the Warhammer community. Mm -hmm. um, it's just grown, grown so much now. Thank you, GD. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. It's, Thank you, Warhammer community. Thank you, Heavy Metal team. Yeah, exactly. It's so it's just grown exponentially as well. And obviously in these sort of turbulent times that we're going through, it's nice to have that. It's nice to have that little escape from what is going on out there. A mini escape. Exactly. Exactly. So please be interactive with us. Let us know how we can improve. Um, if you don't like something, just let us know. Um, and maybe we can tweak that in the future. Yeah. Cool. Or if you just say hello, say hello. <laughs> just say hi. Like, don't be a stranger. So yeah, our final section of the show, guys, is going to be what's next. And what is next? I'm not sure there's much we can say because the world is kind of on pause. Yeah. But... Things are coming. I mean, we're going to get a huge amount of releases from Games Workshop now that the factory has kicked back into production. I think you're going to see just every week is just going to be like an insane amount of stuff, um, which is cool, and I can't wait. Um, yeah. And obviously, like we're not just going to cover just GW. We all cover other manufacturers as well, um, which is yeah. awesome. Yeah. I mean, Cult of Paint put up a little teaser or something that they're possibly releasing soon there's a mm -hmm. nice little box of something has arrived for them lovely sure. nice little package arrived mm, for me forward to seeing what that is mm -hmm. Can't um, wait. so yeah the next so, events uh, for the competitive painter are iron skull as i mentioned yep and then it would be and um, also gaming events if there's a gaming event that you think is really cool and successful um we'd love to hear about that too um and we can we are able to cover those events too Awesome. 
I will I'll leave the gaming oh. knowledge to you because I don't um, I'm terrible at it like people will vouch for that that's it <laughs> yeah that's it. you're dropping down from Arch Magos to Magos yeah. right now I'm, I'm worse than a guard <laughs> in that respect <sighs> I, don't, I don't play the games either Matt so I'm, I'm right there with you I'm probably we're probably missing out on you're missing out on a, a huge amount of fun <laughs> yeah and I'll admit that awesome but I don't have an army painted. See, myself. that's the thing. It takes too long to paint an army. No. I, I can't do a, a running gun. I can't smash it. <laughs> you, do, you could do a new Necron army. It's probably quite a quick way uh, to paint them. Bolt, not bolt gun metal. Um, what's, what's the silver paint <laughs> called now? <laughs> Mithril silver. If you don't know, I can't remember. I'll, I'll just keep calling it bolt gun. What, their new one? Lead, lead, belcher. lead belcher. They still do lead belcher spray? Lead belcher. Yes, I'm pretty yeah. sure you can probably find it's some. Smash it out with that, probably. Gun metal yeah. grey, Vallejo. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, really enjoyed that. And um, so, when is it going to be out? So every month, tell us. I you think know. it's going to be the first of every month. Will be when it's on air, as it were. Will it be available to consume. We have been beyond the brush. Thank you for joining us. And remember, be excellent to each other. Mm.